everybody. Welcome back once again to Tech of Tomorrow. We're bringing you someplace new. That's right. Now you guys are in Elric's garage. That's right. Not quite like Joe's garage because I ain't got no damn cockroaches out here. <laughs> Beyond that, it's pretty cool. It's a new area. This is where we're actually going to be doing all of our PC builds. And the cool thing about it, though, I got to say this, I guess better bring this up, is this desk behind me. This thing is the autonomous smart desk. If you guys actually want to see me do a video on this, let me know because this thing's got a shit ton of features. You can program how high and how low it goes. It's completely automatic. It has an engine. That's right. So you don't have to worry about lifting it yourself. You hit a little automated button. You can program it. it has stereo speakers in it, all kinds of USB ports, wireless charging. Hell, it's got a lot of stuff. But anyways, for working, it's pretty damn awesome. So today's video is about a brand new system from AMD. This one we're calling the producer. And I think that it's a pretty fairly rounded out system because this system has a 1700X in it. It also features the GTX 1080. So this system's completely geared for doing gaming. It's completely geared for doing any kind of editing, anything you want. It's got a giant hard drive. It's got a really fast SSD. Just overall, it's a cool system. Plus, it looks badass. Now, off the bat, we use the same exact case. You guys can see that because I just wanted the cases to match in these kind of builds so I could do the comparisons. And we've got these now built. Now the 17X100 system, it's coming in a little bit over $2,000. We'll get to all that in just a second. But this system's completely badass. You guys can see it back here behind me. It's clean, it's badass. Then behind that, we have right over here, the Ryzen. That's the previous one, the Phoenix Ryzen system. So that one was good to go. But this system, is our brand new one back here behind me. And it was really easy to do and build on this new desk out here because we were able to sit down, put some of the parts together, and then raise it up to whatever level to we were totally comfortable working inside of it and building it, which was pretty badass. So if you guys actually wanna see a video on us like doing another time lapse and showing the features of this, let me know. With that said though, let's jump in and let's see the parts that we used in the producer featuring AMD's Ryzen 1700X. All right, well, I guess it's pretty obvious to you guys that I like the Bit Phoenix Shogun case. We used it in the previous build, and we're going to use it in this build as well, just because I think it's badass, has a lot of nice features, it's well priced, and let's just face it, man, those glass windows and the ability to do all that Asus Aura Sync stuff is really cool. So if you like RGB lighting, you like a case that looks good, has clean stuff, and lots of room for expansions, I got to say, this is a really nice case, definitely worth looking into. Instead of using the MSI board that we used in the previous build, you guys can see that that motherboard kind of clashed a little bit with the case. Those two color variations didn't really go that well in my eyes, so we decided to go with the motherboard that actually matched the case much better. This is the Gigabyte GA AX370 Gaming 5 motherboard. It has a lot of features inside of it, and it's got a lot of cool RGB effects as well, so to keep that RGB thing going with the case, hey, we used a motherboard that has all those same nice features, and you guys can see that in the build, it looks really cool. For the CPU, obviously, we're using the AMD Ryzen 7 1700X processor. Now, the one that we got did not come with a cooler whatsoever. There are different SKUs, one that comes with a liquid cooler, one that comes without it. We got the one that didn't come with it, and we use a totally different cooler from Corsair in our build, which we'll get to next. If you're looking for a cooler that you know will work right out of the box on any motherboard that you get, you want to check out the Corsair Hydro Series H110i. Now, this thing is really great. It'll cool off pretty much anything that's out there in the market, and it comes, like I said, natively able to cool your AM4 board, which is really cool. You don't have to mess around with calling any companies, trying to get yourself another bracket, showing a receipt, doing any of the other crap at all. You just buy this cooler, and hey, you're in like Flynn. And the H110i comes with a huge 280 millimeter radiator, so you know it's gonna be able to keep your CPU running cool and clean. Now this is one part in the system where I know you guys are gonna freak out about, but you do not have to put this memory in your system at all. You guys know you can get cheaper memory out there, so please don't leave me a crazy negative comment going, oh my God, that memory is so crazy priced, Elric. Hells to the yes, I know it's expensive. We're talking about the Corsair Vengeance RGB LED. This is a 32 gigabyte kit. Now, it features four eight gigabyte sticks. It's DDR4, 3000 megahertz, but best of all, this shit is completely RGB. And if you guys happen to miss our video, you guys should check that out because this is the coolest and most crazy lighted memory I've ever seen. Some people said they liked other stuff a little bit better. Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty partial to this stuff. It's really cool. I mean, if you're looking for something that can be stuck inside your system, it features a profile so you can go in and set an XMP profile just like you could in old Intel systems and you have all that light control. It just looks badass. 
Now for the boot drive, we wanted something exceptionally fast. We went with the Corsair Neutron XTI Series SSD. Now this is a 240 gigabyte SSD. It's super duper fast. Plenty of room to put your OS and even a couple of programs on. But for doing all your storage and stuff, we went with a four terabyte drive by Hitachi. Now this is a 7200 RPM drive and it's got plenty of room for doing page filing, storing all of your stuff on. Uh, let's just big enough to do quite a bit of stuff at four terabytes. You're most likely not gonna run out of room too quick. On the back of the case, we also have a single LED case fan. This thing's RGB as well to keep that lighting theme going strong. Gone are the days of the mustard and ketchup cables. I mean, let's face it, this isn't dinner, this is a PC case. So we use Corsair's latest sleeve cables. Now these are their pro package, they're red and black. These things are really nice and they have all the cables that you need to hook up anything that you're using inside of your system. Now I know you can't see it, but yes, there is a power supply in here. We don't have two rats running around in a cage. It's the Corsair RMX series RM650X. Now obviously a 650 watt power supply, totally modular and 80 plus gold certified. And what's best of all, hey, it works great with that pro series cable set. Now for the video card, we use the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Founders Edition. Now these things range in price from like 650 bucks all the way down to 500 bucks. So we'll have links to both of those down below. But like usual folks, you have your choice to put whatever video card you want inside your system. We figured the GTX 1080 was a perfect balance between the high-end TI and then something lower from AMD. So I hope you guys are satisfied. All right, so those are all the parts we use to make the producer back here behind me. I think it's a pretty awesome system. It actually has liquid cooling compared to the previous system, which had air cooling. And the problem with that was at the time, we just couldn't get our hands on any damn cooler that would work without getting a mounting bracket thing. So we finally got our hands on that and we got this thing up and going. Now with that said though, let's jump in and let's see the scores between these two systems. Now the focus really today is on this build, but since we had the previous build already and it features the 1800X, we figured the scores be a good comparison for you guys to see pretty much with a system that's as close as possible. All of our testing was done with the latest patched edition of Windows 10. This actually gave us some problems and we had to reinstall it a few times to get it going stable, but we finally did. And we're also using the latest available drivers from NVIDIA to power the 1080. Now the only other differences between the 1800X and the 1700X in the system is that obviously the new system is obviously liquid cooled. The previous is air cooled. This system over here, the new one features 32 gigabytes of Vengeance RGB and 16 gigabytes of the Vengeance memory on the Ryzen. So there we go. Let's jump in. Let's check out those benchmarks. Folks, so there you have it, the brand new, the producer featuring AMD's Ryzen 1700X. Now, to be honest with you folks, unless you're a super duper crazy content creator, I gotta say that I think the 1700X is gonna be your sweet spot. It still does everything pretty doggone close, but it's not $500. I mean, think about it. The system's already pushing into the over two grand. We get a system that has a $500 CPU, it's gonna push it even further. And 
I honestly get a little uncomfortable with that. I'm really afraid of what you guys are gonna say because you guys usually try to kick my ass and go, oh man, I can go to PC Parts Picker and build this system for 17 bucks that's better. We don't like to do that. I honestly hate that shit, man. Like we just try to bring really quality systems to the table for you guys to check out. They're just recommended builds. I never say anything like, hey, this is the best for your money you can get. I never say anything like that whatsoever. This is just my team and myself. These are the systems that we bring to the table. You can always take, change the parts out, do whatever you want to do. So even doing this system, the producer I felt like I was walking on eggshells afraid of what the AMD fans are gonna say you know like oh my god it's too much money or screw that or why didn't I use an AMD card it's just uh, you know I just felt the 1080 was a great balance in the systems it's a good affordable card 500 bucks now you guys obviously know if you want a TI you can pay that extra 200 bucks and stick it in there and go for broke if you want to but for those people out there who want to own an AMD processor and you're not the most totally content creative bastard in the world I would say the 1700X right now is the sweet spot of the Ryzen 7 stuff. That's just my personal opinion. Let me see yours down below. I'm Elric. Like usual, all the parts for this system will be down below that like button. Hopefully you will go Chuck Norris on that mother fracker and like this video because hey, we took the time to bring it to you and so I hope you appreciate it. So peace out. We'll see you guys back here. If you don't have notifications on, hey, turn them on. If you're not subbed, come on, you know what to do.